Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Rest by Foo Fighters from the new album. Uh, the new album's sounding great, so I've done a few videos of um, some of the other songs, so go and check them out. So I'm going to teach you Rest today, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications. Um, I do read every comment, so let me know you're watching out there. If you just want to say hi, say hi. Let me know what songs I should do next as well. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in drop D tuning, which means the top string is tuned down two semitones to D. The rest of the strings are the same. Okay, so we've got drop D tuning. Okay, so the song starts with an intro uh, and it goes into the verse. It goes around three times. There's two lines that we need to learn. And it sounds like this. So to play that, we're going to play the open E, open A, and D2. Hit that with a downstroke. Keep your first finger on there and put your third finger then on D4 and go up, down, up, up, down. So from the beginning you've got... Don't play the notes in the brackets, they're just held on. And then the last four hits, you're hitting the top three strings, but go two, four, two, O. Oh on the D string, so two, four, two, and then just open on the D string, so. So the first two bars go. Into bar three, it's a little bit of an awkward shape, but put your second finger on E4, third finger A4, and first finger on D2. We're gonna do a downstroke on that, then add your little finger to D4 and do it with an upstroke and then down. If you struggle to do that, you could lay a finger across all three strings, um, but it's ideally do it with this way because we want to go back to that fret two uh, towards the end of the next bar. So we've got up, down, up, up, down. And then like the end of bar two, it goes two, four, two, O oh on the D string, um, but you're going to hold down the E4 and the A4 for the first three hits on that. So you've got two on the D string, four, two, and then the last hit, upstroke, just take your fingers off. So it goes. So bars three and four go. So the whole of that first line you've got. On to the next line, and we've got what is a G chord. Uh, second finger E5, third finger A5, little finger D5, and first finger on G4. And you play top four strings, and then take your first finger off and go up, down, down, up, up, down, down, and then an upstroke with the first finger goes back on fret four on the G string. And then downstroke, it comes off, so you play the open G string. And then the last hit, is just the open strings with an upstroke. Kind of really just top three strings ideally. So bars five and six go. And then we're gonna take that same shape and move it down to the second fret in bar seven. So we have E2, A2, D2, and G1. Play all the way down to the B string on the first hit and then kind of hit top three or top four strings and go up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And on that last hit, you're taking your fingers off, just playing the open top three strings. So bars five, um, well, from bar five onwards, so the whole of that line goes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's put the two lines together, the first and second lines, which is the intro and also the first two lines, uh, for first two times round in the verse. So you play it around three times in total. Uh, let's just play it once through both lines. Here we go. On to the next line. So this is kind of feels like the next section. It, it's almost identical, but there's just slight little changes on it. It's where he's singing Angel Dust. Um, the first line goes like this. So for that, it's almost identical. It starts the same. There's an extra down, up. Well, an extra down on this first bar, so. So almost identical to what we played in the intro. Into bar 11, slight little change here. It's creating this uh, F sharp seven chord. We'll get the major third in this time. Uh, so I'm using my third finger on E4, little finger on A4, first finger on D2, and second finger on G3, top four strings, and then I'm just gonna lay a finger flat across E, A, and D strings at the fourth fret, and go up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, and on that last up, I'll just take my fingers off, so uh, that bars 11 and 12 go. So the whole of that line goes. Onto the next line, um, <coughs> it's using the same chords that we used um, before on the uh, first three times round. So you've got. So that line's almost the same. Um, it's just a slight rhythm change. You should be able to see that. Okay, so let's put those two lines together. Here we go. And then we go to this next part. Sounds cool, it goes. So for that, we're gonna play the open D string. Hammer onto D2, and then slide up to D4. If you want to, you could just play O, two, four, um, or if you want to do the hammer-ons and slide, it sounds cool. Then it plays a G2, then D2, D4, D2, then open D. So from the beginning of the line. Then it goes D2, D4, D2, D, so bars 17 and 18 go. And then it's just A, A2, A4. So, go. so the first four bars of that line go. Into bar 21, it starts the same. Uh, and then it changes slightly, so open uh, D, D2, going into the bar 22, it slides up to D4, and then you play a G4. So you've got um, from bar 21. And then it goes D2, D4, D2, D. And then you could either play an open D string, I've written there A5. 
because it's a bit of a slide, A5 and then down to A2 twice. Okay, so let's put the whole line together. repeats um, until it then goes to the angel dust part again uh, which is like the uh, sort of second part that we did and then um, this distorted guitar sort of comes in um, but basically it's just hitting a D chord open E open A open D G2 B3 and E2 normal D chord like we've played before um, does it for two bars and then it does this line the outro um, so two bars of D, and then it comes into this part, which does two bars of D again, so it'd be like four bars, but basically this line keeps repeating around. Hopefully that's made sense. So two bars of D, so like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then it comes in here with two bars of D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go to this F sharp seven, which we used in the sort of angel dust part, to the, F sharp five, which is just E four, A four, and D four. Uh, for it goes same kind of rhythm um, that we used in like the verse part. Then there's a B minor chord for two bars, which is A two, B three, with the second finger, third finger, D four, little finger on G four, two bars of that. And then the G chord, again, like we used, remember we've got E5, A5, D5, and G4. And put a bit of rhythm into it, so you go. same kind of rhythm that we did in the verse and then that just keeps repeating around till the end of the song. Well I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson especially the person who requested it thanks for the request. If you have enjoyed it if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel which is Andy Hillier it really does help me out as does giving me a like the little thumbs up on the video that helps hopefully get some more views and the more comments the better. Let me know you're watching out there just say hi if you want to say hi let me know what country you come from let me know what songs I should do next and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, keep me going, uh, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then you can support me on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching. I do really appreciate it. Go and watch some of my other YouTube videos. I've got loads of um, Foo Fighters songs on there, so go and check them out. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.